Today we're going to be making repairs on a swinging log, a low ropes element. I would have showed the old swinging log, but the client had removed the pole before I arrived. The new log is thicker in diameter, so I'm trying to save as much hardware as I can and just cutting off the old bolts and we'll replace them with longer bolts. Here I'm cutting the log to length as the log that the client purchased was much longer than needed. So here the screw tip on my auger bit broke off right as I started the hole. I've never had this happen before, which means that I had to push much harder to get the drill bit to go through as I didn't have another one. Here I'm trying to pick out the broken screw tip. Good to clean out the hole so that the bolt slides in easily. It's a little hard to tell in the video, but I am working on a hillside here. And there's the longer bolt putting a washer and a double lock washer on it to account for any wood movement or shrinkage or, or expansion. As I mentioned, I was originally going to try and save as much of the hardware cable as I could. The cable is fine, and the log was just kind of old and worn out, and that's why we're putting on a, a better log. It's not a new log, but it's a better log.
I'm using a half inch quick link or rapid link to connect the old cable to the new bolt and I had to cut the old backup section um, as it was too short to allow the rapid link to do its job properly. And at this point I decided just to make a new cable as I didn't like the old one. My uh, other ladders were on a different job site today and so all I had was my harness and a step stool to get up and perform the repairs. The job would have been significantly easier if I had a proper ladder with me, but I may do without. Plus, it's always fun to do a little bit of climbing. I just took off the old cable and dropped it down to the ground, and I'll be making a new cable. I am still getting used to working with the camera, so I apologize for cutting off the shot. Here we're using 3 8 inch galvanized cable, which is the minimum that we use on anything. We've got a copper ferrule and a thimble, and then we'll be doing a hand swager on it. And now it's already hooked up to the rapid link. you don't have a ladder and you have to work from harness you tend to make sure you have everything with you or everything you think you're going to need so that you don't have to climb up and down up and down so we're using two 3 8 inch drop forged cable clamps to hold the, the cable Here's the other side of the telephone pole. Just trying to find some place to push the hook of the come along through. And then I'll use the come along to maneuver the pole around. Right here I'm using one inch tubular webbing to tie a clem heist or a climb heist. It's a friction hitch that I can use on the cable and it's pretty easy to tie and, and webbing is not very expensive. So now that it's up elevated I can install the bolt. There you can see the curved washer and a double coil lock washer. And with the telephone pole, I'll smash that lock washer all the way down so that as the pole climatizes to the area and shrinks, the, the coil washer will stay tight and, and keep the nut on there.
A moment ago you saw me hook on a tether that is to prevent this log from swinging too much. And now we'll hook on the main cable, the main support cable. And there it is all hooked up. This is back to the first side that I was working on. Got a little bit better cam camera angle here. Using an impact wrench to tighten the cable clamps or cable clips down. Torquing them down to about 45 foot pounds. Cut off the excess tail. And some people will use a cable stop or a, or a serving sleeve to finish off the tail. And I prefer to use electrical tape, um, not duct tape, because that'll hold moisture. But electrical tape is cheap and easy, and it's easy for a client to replace as needed. I do have another tether hooked on there, so nobody worry. Alright, to finish off the project here, I need to raise this side up. And this corner of the course is lower than the other side of the telephone pole, so we'll try to level the telephone pole a little bit, not perfectly, because it would make this side too high off the ground. This side has enough stuff that it's pretty easy to climb up. I don't need a ladder or anything. It's almost easier to work from a harness sometimes in this situation. So I already hooked the come along on down below. Now I'll hook another Clem Heist on up top. And hook the come along up to it and then I can take up the slack and raise the raise the telephone pole up to as high as I need it to be. When you're tightening cable like this and you have a thimble, you need to make sure to keep your thimble on straight because it'll want to rotate with the cable. And you can show that in, an, in another video if people are interested. Here I'm just checking the movement of the beam, see how much it wiggles and moves. It's kind of a tight area as you can tell. There's other ropes course elements around it. I ended up shortening those tethers later off, screen, off camera. That's some straightening the thimble right there. And then locking down the cable clips. Working them um, to 45 foot pounds again. And taking off the come along. And then finishing the tail off with electrical tape again. And of course, you got to try it out. 
like I mentioned, I did end up shortening those tethers off screen just to restrict some of that movement. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.